Math Grade 1 Quarter 2 Week 1 Let's learn about Measurement and Geometry Day 3 to 4 Matatag Curriculum Hello kids! It's me! Teacher Frel Don't forget to subscribe Like and share and hit the notification bell for the latest video you can also follow my facebook page teacher frel tv for today's lesson in math one we will discuss about measurement and geometry day three at the end of the lesson the learner should be able to Compare lengths of two objects indirectly using comparative words such as shorter, longer, and same length. Let's do this activity first. Choose the correct answer. Number 1. Which one is longer? Pencil A or Pencil B? Correct! The longer is Pencil A. Number 2. Which is longest? Is it pencil A, pencil B, or pencil C? Correct! The answer is pencil C. Number 3. Which is tallest? Is it glass A, glass B, glass C, or glass D? Correct! The tallest is glass A. Number 4. Which is shortest? Is it glass A, glass B, glass C, or glass D? Correct! The answer is glass B is the shortest. Lesson purpose or intention. To compare the lengths of two objects indirectly using comparative words. Read the following words. Length, width, height, shorter, longer, distance around, indirect comparison. Let's read the situation below. Dominique wants to compare the length of the table and the height of the blackboard. Can he do it directly? Why? No, he cannot do it directly because he cannot physically align the length of the table and the height of the blackboard. Sometimes, we cannot compare the lengths of objects directly because we cannot physically align them. How can we compare their lengths if we cannot do that? We can use a measuring object like a piece of string as basis for comparison. Here is how to do it. Step 1. Using a piece of string, get the length of the table. Step 2. Compare the length of this string with the height of the blackboard. Since the length of the string, which is the same as the length of the table, is longer than the height of the blackboard. We can say that the length of the table is longer than the height of the blackboard. We can also use the word shorter in comparing the lengths, like the height of the blackboard is shorter than the length of the table. The process of comparing objects that cannot be physically aligned is called indirect comparison. An intermediary tool or another object, such as a piece of string, is used for comparing the lengths. Let's see another situation. Compare the width of a table and the height of a chair. Step 1. Using a piece of string, get the width of the table. So this is the width of the table using this string. Step 2. Compare the length of this string. We will use the string that we use in measuring the width of the table. Compare the length of this string with the height of the chair. 
what do you observe? Since the length of the string, which is the same as the width of the table, is shorter than the height of the chair, we can say that the width of the table is shorter than the height of the chair using the same string. We can use the word longer in comparing the lengths, like the height of the chair is longer than the width of the table. And now do this group activity. Each group will provide a piece of string about 5 meters long, scissors, and a piece of paper with the measurements you need to compare. Label what the piece of cut string represents. Be careful in using the scissors to cut the string. The comparisons to be made as stated below are just examples. For example, compare the lengths of the following. For group 1, compare the width of the door and the height of a cabinet. For group 2, compare the height of a table and the length of a desk. For group 3, compare the width of a window and the height of the blackboard. And for group 4, compare the distance around the teacher's table and the distance around a cabinet. Remember, the process of comparing objects that cannot be physically aligned is called indirect comparison. An intermediary tool or another object, such as a piece of string, is used for comparing the lengths. Day 4 At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to Compare lengths and distances of three or more objects indirectly using comparative words, such as longest, shortest, and widest. Let's review our lesson yesterday. When do we use direct comparison of lengths and distances of objects? Correct! We use direct comparison of lengths and distances if we can physically align the objects. We can use direct comparison in comparing the length of pencils, the height of people, and the thickness of books. When do we use indirect comparison of lengths and distances of objects? Yes, we use indirect comparison of lengths and distances if we cannot physically align the objects. We can use indirect comparison in comparing the length of a table and its height, height of a cabinet and length of a desk, and width of the door and width of a window. Our lesson purpose or intention is to compare the lengths and distances of three or more objects indirectly using comparative words. So read the following words. Length, width, distance around, longer, longest, shorter, shortest, wider, and direct comparison. Now, look around you. Which of the three measurements is the longest? Is it the width of the door? Width of a window? Or the height of a cabinet? Since you cannot physically align the measurements of the three objects, you need to use a different object to compare three lengths, like a piece of string. Once you have taken all measurements using the string, determine which is the longest among the width of the door, width of a window, and height of a cabinet based on the three cut strings. To identify the longest, you must directly compare the three strings by aligning one end of each string. After determining the longest string, identify what that string represents in terms of the measurements. Look at this example. Measure the width of the door like this. Then cut the string. This is the first string. For the second string, measure the width of a window like this. Then cut the string. This is the second string. And for the third string, measure the height of a cabinet like this. Then cut the string. So this is the third string. Now compare the three strings. 
post the three strings on the board, ensuring that they are straightened and aligned at one end. Like for example, the first string is width of the door. The second string is the width of the window. And the third string is the height of a cabinet. Now, for the question, which one is the longest? Correct! It is the height of the cabinet. The longest string represents the height of the cabinet. Next, which one is the shortest? Correct! The shortest is the width of the window. The shortest string represents the width of the window. Next question. Which is wider, the door or the window? Correct! The door is wider than the window. The length of the string representing the width of the door is longer than the length of the string representing the width of the window. The door is wider than the window. Next, measure the length of a table using a piece of string. So the fourth picture is the table. Place the cut string with the three previously measured strings on the board. Measure the length of the table like this, then cut the string. This is now the fourth string. So this string is for the length of a table. Question number one, which one is the longest? Correct! It is the length of the table. The longest string represents the length of the table. Number two, which one is the shortest? Correct! It is the width of the window. The shortest string represents the width of the window. Remember, the process of comparing objects that cannot be physically aligned is called indirect comparison. We use an intermediary or another tool or object such as a piece of string to compare lengths. And now let us do this activity. The table shows different measurements taken using a string. So for letter A, length of open arms. Letter B, width of a book. Letter C, height of a desk. Letter D, thickness of a book. And letter E, distance around a tree. So which one is it? Write the letters of the correct answers in the blank. Number 1. Which is longest? Is it A, B, C, D, or E? Correct! The longest is letter E, distance around a tree. Number 2. Which is the second longest? Correct! The second longest is letter A, which is the length of open arms. Number 3. Which is shortest? Correct! The answer is letter D. Thickness of a book. Number 4. Which is second shortest? Correct! The second shortest is letter B. Which is the width of a book. Number 5. Which is shorter than the length of open arms? Correct! The answers are letters E, C, or D, which are E is distance around the tree, C is the height of a desk, and D is the thickness of a book. And number 6, which is longer than the height of the desk? Correct! The answer are letter A or E. A is the length of open arms. And E is the distance around a tree. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!